So we've come across Vancouver with EA Sports to see them turn David Hay more into David Hay at his mo-capping session. David, obviously, you know, when you're training, when you're in a build-up to fight, you don't get much downtime. Do you get to play games often? Um, not as much as I'd like to. You know, um, now that I've got a game that I'm in, I'll play it. You know, I don't like playing other... Whenever I've played other games, it's been somebody else. I never felt quite comfortable. But now I can actually play, 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 play Fight Night with actually me doing my movements with my face, doing the punches I throw in the fight. I feel comfortable now, so I'm going to dedicate a nice bit of time to uh, playing this game for sure. Does it feel strange seeing yourself in a game? It was a bit weird to start off with, you know, watching, watching me up there, you know, fighting Muhammad Ali. It was crazy, you know, I mean, me and Lennox Lewis. Um, the movements before wasn't that great, but now that I've just gone up there and put m my real movements into, into it, you know, it's going to be absolutely amazing. You know, seeing, seeing me, put, seeing me pit, pitch my skills against some of the greatest fighters in history, you know, make this what it's all about. Is it strange doing mo-capping? Um, it was, I've never experienced anything like it. Um, it, was, it was very, very weird, especially when you can actually, in real life time, see yourself on a screen, on a computer screen, how you will look in the fight on the game. It's, it's very, very, very strange, but it's definitely something that um, I'm glad I've done. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the finished article. Can't wait. Is it hard work doing it? Uh, yeah, it was. It's quite grueling. You know, you're in this real tight little sort of leotard suit, you know, sweating inside it. Um, but you know, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a price worth paying for the final final article. Obviously, you have to train pretty hard when you're preparing for a fight. Mm -hmm. Have you got like a worst training drill? Um, worst training drill um, probably is running. I'm not I'm the, long distance running. I've hate it. You know, I've never been a big fan of it. I like doing sprint work. I like doing like interval running. But it's long, slow, steady, boring runs. I really do my head in. I hate doing. I don't even do them to be honest. You know, when you see Rocky running in the mornings. I'm sleeping in the mornings. Can you not do a Rocky film then? You can do all the... I could do a Rocky film, but it'd be a bit, a bit different and end up winning. And I wouldn't say, Adrian, at the end of it either. It's always a bad look. Have you got like a, a best training drill then? Something that you enjoy doing? Best training drill? I like sparring. I like uh, getting in the ring and actually doing, rehearsing what I'm going to do in a fight. Um, particularly when you've got good sparring partners, sparring partners that are going to replicate the guys you're due to fight. Um, I remember when I was, when I was due to fight uh, Audley Harrison, I had a guy come over called Tony Thompson. He was a good southpaw, someone who was a lot better than Audley. So I was day, day in, day out training with this guy who I knew would know was better than Audley and figuring out how to break his uh, resistance down, practicing different moves, practicing defensive drills. And that's how it keeps my mind active, it keeps me focused, keeps me driven. And that's what I feel ultimately makes me a better fighter. When you say like you were training with someone who was better than Audley, mm. do you almost feel like after the fight that you can almost have dialed it down a bit, trained less, you know, taking it easy? Uh, no, I've, I've made the mistake in the past of not focusing 100% on the fighter and training to the level of my opponent, and you end up getting beat by doing that because in, in a boxing in a boxing arena, anything can happen. One punch can change a fight. So if you go into the ring thinking, "Ah, oh, I'm only going to fight Audley Harrison," I would have trained to a lower intensity. So when it comes to me avoiding punches, I might be taking the punches. My my my, my endurance might not be as good, and I've, I've, I've learnt, I learnt the hard way that if you uh, underestimate an opponent, you can come a cropper. So since that, since the, the one fight I've lost in my career, which was like a few years ago, you know, where I didn't take the guy seriously, I didn't train as hard as I could have done, that, that, that lesson was learnt and I'll never go down that path again. Obviously you've got to be sort of careful with your training, you're not going to get injured or something. Yeah. So. Is there stuff that you can't do that you really wish you could? Um, yeah, certain sort of weight training stuff that I'd like to do, lift heavy, lifting heavy, heavy weights. But you know the, the the likelihood, you know the, the risk reward isn't really there. You know although I'd like to be freaking deadlifting 300 kilos, the likelihood of me doing my back in is pretty high. So I don't do it. You know I try and do weights that I can do not comfortably, but I'm not ripping fibres too badly. I'm not causing too much uh, damage. Um, obviously with running as well, not doing too much long distance running because uh, I get bad shin splints and uh, problems with my calves. Um, so it's, over time I've worked out what works for me and what doesn't work for me or what I need to focus on and what I don't need to focus on. And I think I've just got it down to a fine art now with my body. What works for me might not work for you, but myself and Adam Booth have uh, figured out you know, how to get the most out of me. And it's not always training the hardest as you possibly can. It's all about getting easy certain days and pushing it on other days, making sure you get the right recovery, the right rest, the right nutrients. To make it just, it's, it's, it's so many different factors that go into becoming a successful world champion boxer. Um, but I think I've figured it out now and, and I feel I'm going to stay at the top of my game. When you're not training, is there any stuff that sort of you can't get insured to do, like hobbies, um, sports that you wish you could do that just at this stage in your career you can't? 
Um, it's difficult to get. It's difficult for a boxer to get insured full stop because the whole idea of boxing is you're going to get punched in the face where there's going to be damage. You can get a broken nose, cut eye. So likelihood of you getting uh, insured, you can get insured, but you probably end up spending your whole purse on the insurance. Just a waste of time. Um, so uh, I do pretty much what I want to do. I don't go skiing or go on motorbikes or anything like that or anything stupid because um, I just don't think it's worth it. I do that stuff after I retire. I'm only boxing for another less than another less than a year now. I got left before I retire, so you know I'll save all the crazy bungee jumping, uh, extreme sports for after then. When you were um, when you were in doing the mo capping, was there anything you really just wanted to do, let loose? Um, I wanted to throw more combinations, but you know they they pieced the combination. I was doing that to do the punches in individually. Um, so after they've taken the punches, then they'll be able to put them all together in, in fast combinations. I'm just looking forward to seeing how my punches all come together because I, as you saw, the, the finish from Audley Harrison, I threw a, a 37 punch combination to finish the, the farce and uh, I'd like to be able to play, click on the buttons and see me see my hands going, it'd be fun. We said, said that was a farce, um, next up one of the Klitschko's surely? Yes, yeah, the plan, fingers crossed, get one of the Klitschko's in there, unify the heavyweight division, the same way I unified the cruiserweight division, you know, the first ever uh, British boxer to do that, you know, I'm going to be uh, you know, the second British boxer other than Lennox Lewis to unify the heavyweight division. And uh, it's something that you know will really put the cherry on the cake for my career. You know, I've achieved my goals in becoming the heavyweight champion of the world, um, but to unify it and to bring bring some more titles back to Britain would be um, would be a dream come true. What become your goals after that? Um, after that, you know, I'd like to be as successful in the movie industry, you know, as an actor as I would be, as I have been in the uh, the sporting arena in the boxing. You know, become the you know the world, world champion. You know, people were talking earlier on about um, Arnold Schwarzenegger coming from being a bodybuilder, you know, to to one of the, the biggest biggest actors you know ever. Uh, you know, Sylvester Stallone, you had The Rock, you know, some some big guys, even guys like Vinnie Jones, you know, have done done some great great things, been in some great movies, and you know, them guys are definitely inspiration for to guys like me. So after I've finished being a heavyweight champion, I'm gonna be a, a Hollywood movie star, no doubt. Is, are there any roles that you sort of wish you were around for before that you're like, I could have had that, that would have been my role? Uh, I'd like the, you know, the, um, uh, the one that uh, Mickey Rourke and Sly Stallone and all those guys did, the, um, I wish, what was that called? Not Invincibles, the, the Expendables. The Expendables, yeah. Love that. And I've been thinking, yeah, I wish I was a movie star, I wish I was an old movie star so I could be in that with all these guys. Because all the guys that are in there are guys that I watched when I was growing up, that's all my heroes. You know, all these guys coming through, you know, all still in great shape. Still got all the, still got all the swagger. You know, uh, Bruce Willis, Dolph Lundgren, you know, Jet Li. All these guys who I've watched all, pretty much every single one of their movies I've watched. And uh, you know, if there's, a, if there's Expendables too, you know, they are, I, I want to be in that for sure. Is, it, is that sort of your ideal movie? Then? Yeah, definitely ideal movie. It's not, it's not going to go down as the greatest movie of all time, but it's just cheesy action. Love it.